it's been a nice day. Not too bad. Birds are singing. Sun is shining. Drove out to see see if I could find that eagle earlier on this morning. No such luck. Other than that, just a few odd and, th odd and end things here around the house. Nothing to, you know, to really show here on the vlog. Uh, but now, I am finally going to do what I've been wanting to do all day long. I'm going to go see that movie, baby. I hope it's really good, and I will try to do a good review on it when I get back to the house. So I got through seeing Captain America Civil War, which some people were also calling as Captain America 3. Uh, I wouldn't really pro project it as Captain America 3. And the reason why is because it seems more like an Avengers movie than another Captain America movie. Um, just kind of looking over some things that... Uh, one thing I did miss, because I thought that the first ending credit there was it, where uh, basically you see, well I'm not going to get into in particulars, but stick around in case you have it. There's another uh, deal after the credits. You'll see one, but stick around because there's yet another one where you'll see Spider-Man all beat up. Um, and of course he's trying to hide and stuff from Aunt May. I'm not going to go into big details about that. I missed that, but I kind of looked back later and like, oh shoot, I missed that. So, uh, just gave you guys a heads up on that if you haven't seen the movie yet. I thought I was going to give it about, oh, I'd say about an 8 out of 10 on the retro scale. Really a, between a 7 out of 10 and 8 out of 10. I thought the movie was really good. I think there's instances where it could have been better um, because, you know... There are just certain things that I, I thought anyway, from a Hollywood standpoint or what, however you want to say it, the project seemed like it was rushed. Uh, some things that you wouldn't really catch unless you knew it is that, uh, you know, so the, the film was shot in Germany. Um, but uh, according to some of the stuff that I've read, like uh, the, you know, like the police officers, um, you know, because it's supposed to be that they were in Romaine, but, you know, of course it was shot in Germany. Fine, but, like, the police officers, the stuff on the back of their shirts, um, let's spell out police, was, uh, in German, not in Romaine, or, you know, in the Romaine language. So, you know... They're supposed to be in Romania, but yet the police is being translated there in German. That's a little off. But I mean, like, you know, most people here in the United States aren't going to pick up on that. Well, you know, most English-speaking people, I wouldn't say most Americans, that would be a lie. But I think there are going to be some people, I think, you know, the movie's going to have some trouble in Germany quite frankly, because of, of that, that in Romania, you know, and different parts around the world, because there are, you know, different cultures out there that can really speak German, and they're going to look at that and say that's German, that's not Romania, and, you know, you're trying to project this as, you know, as Romania. So, uh, that and there's some other instances. One that I caught was a, de a scene which you'll see later on with uh, uh, Tony Stark's tie. Um, it was hard not to catch. Like at one point you see the tie up and then you see the tie back down and then you see the tie back up again and he's not touching the tie. So 
I mean, you can see that they probably did multiple shots there, but they didn't really pay attention to his tie up and down. Probably thought that a lot of people wouldn't be paying attention to that, but being that it's that close to his head, and since a lot of that was a face shot, not a body shot, you know, it, it was kind of hard not to, not to notice that. But, I mean, all in all, good movie. Um... I say it had a lot of great instances. It had a great, a lot of great fight scenes. It's just that I wish they would have paid a little bit more attention to the fine details before letting it out like that. There's one other thing I wanted to mention. There's one other thing I wanted to mention right quick. Uh, while I was watching that movie, or just before I, the movie started, uh, there were. Uh, some trailers that looked really cool, so I will definitely be checking those movies out. Uh, one of them is, of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That that new movie, I can't think of the entire title, but it's a sequel to the one that was out like a couple years ago. Anyway, it will be coming out in June. I definitely want to go out and see that one. Another one that really appealed to me, and this one, it, it just kind of blew me away, the trailer. It looked really awesome. Uh, you, you know, I was surprised they'd be making another Star Wars movie this quick. And no, it doesn't go off the storyline that they left on uh, with episode... What was it? Episode 6 now, I believe. But no, it, it doesn't project with that. It's something totally different. This one is called Rogue One. And it takes place, I believe, at the time of Darth Vader. Because basically, um, the Imperial Army, or the Rebel Army, is, uh, you know, they're trying to get the plans of the Death Star so they can figure out more or less how to destroy it. So... At least that's the idea of what I got from the film. Uh, it did show one line in the trailer. It says, what would you do? And this is coming from Rogue. But what would you do when they catch you? What would you do if they break you? Would you continue to fight? What will you become? I mean, very powerful line in that movie, especially how you see it being projected. Um, but yeah, everything in there looked really good. I mean, I would give it an A plus across the board for a, a trailer anyway. Very intriguing, and uh, I may have to check that out in December. And then the last one I would say would be Captain Strange. That one looked really cool as well. So uh, yeah, but I would say the, really the trailer that blew me away today more than any of them, like I said, was the the Star Wars trailer. I mean, it looked phenomenal. I couldn't help but to say wow from the beginning. I mean, it, it just like it brings you in, and as soon as you're hooked into that trailer, you're like, oh my god, you know, they're they're. Of course, like I said, like you you couldn't believe that they were making another one this early in the game, but at the same time, it it just looked freaking awesome, and and I can't wait to see, you know, see how that develop or see how it goes. Uh, in December, I'm very much looking forward to that. Hopefully, maybe this time I get some friends to go with me to check that movie out. We'll we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, all right. One trailer that I forgot to mention, or just about forgot to mention here before I hang up, was uh, Suicide Squad. That one looked really well, really good as well. So another movie I will have to check out uh, when it comes out. Uh, Another one that they projected really well, like I said, DC might actually hit this one out of the park. So if it's done right, um, they've got some really good actors in this one. So I can't wait to see what happens. I had a lot of fun tonight. Great movie. But now I need to get to bed because tomorrow is... Uh, oh, free comic book day. I want to take a full advantage of that. So, I will see you guys later. Peace.